like, let me posit a different absolutely interpretation have. here. I, 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 honestly, I wish mm -hmm. you and Stephanie were right. I see the complete opposite happening. I actually see um, Republicans softening on some of their principles to sound more appealing. Rand Paul this week, for example, told Republicans essentially to cool it on voter ID because it sounds offensive. Um, I've seen a number of examples of this over the past few months. Now, he's also talking about prison reform, which I happen to like, but doesn't it worry you that some Republicans are kind of stealing your best stuff and really trying to soften their message? Actually, it doesn't. Because, <laughs> and by the way, voter ID doesn't just sound offensive, it is offensive. Preventing well, people from of the going country to the polls, support voter no, ID laws. They, well, they don't support Republican legislatures stopping people <laughs> from voting. So I, you've got me wrong if you think that it wouldn't be good for, for Democrats if we could come to a compromise on immigration, if we could come to a compromise on education reform, if we could actually come to a compromise on something as business-oriented as tax reform. I think, actually, you've got a, a whole host of it, Democrats in Washington who would really like Republicans to soften not just their image, but actually their positions. Well, I, I would disagree well, with the idea... That. I would even disagree with you, SE, on the mm. idea that they're softening their principles. I, I think we're doing they're a not. much better job of what? clarifying our principles and aligning ourselves with the larger electorate and talking well, about what we're for. No, no, I no, think no, no. Let me stop you there, Kevin. No, let me just argue with Kevin for a second. <laughs> <laughs> because Rand Paul did not change his mind on the principle of voter ID. He said we need to talk about it less because it sounds offensive. He's not changing the principle. He wants to change the rhetoric. Now, I don't mind. I don't mind changing the rhetoric. But in saying that we should uh, walk back our, our values because it sounds offensive. No, let's find better right, well, ways. I'm going beyond it on issues let's like economic growth, and our economic growth, economic opportunity, education, uh, even, even on issues like immigration and, and health care. Republicans are doing a much better job. And the reason that we're, we're going to win, and we're going to win very big in 2014, is because we're doing a much better job at defining what uh, we're Kevin, fighting. economic I opportunity. Okay. Mitt Romney, oh, Rick okay. Santorum, and Tim Pawlenty let's all suggest moving. we raise the minimum wage. Well, nobody, nobody on our our side of the how, aisle how, how, thinks that, that is good how, for jobs. That that's not true. That, that is that there is a all of the above argument when it comes to how we're going to uh, help on the economy. I think what Santorum and Paul Lenti and others have said is that yes, there have to you have to strike a balance, and oftentimes when you're looking at an issue like the minimum wage, that you can strike that balance. But we're doing a much better job as a party, and so are many of these candidates. We're drawing the contrast against the, the failed policies of Democrats, if that the were failed true, policies of the Obama. Kevin, it, well, then why sorry, is President wait, 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 Obama's average approval rating if, at like 44? Well, that's the right point. Because if that were true. If Republicans really did have a positive, proactive message, then all these campaign ads that are actually hurting Democrats in all these states would be about that. But they're they not. Are, they, all they, they do is tie are. them drawing, to President they're drawing Obama. Contrast, all they do they're is drawing contrast with the wrong policies, for problems the that policies that, that haven't. Be fixed. Hillary, no, they're drawing no. contrast with the policies that haven't worked, no, no, and then they're, they're prescribing they're their vision for contrast. what they they're, would do here. They're in Washington. essentially trashing the president and associating the senators with the president. No, trashing they're the president. They're not talking about a proactive. Hillary pointing out the president's record. Record on, a, of, on a failed economy. It's not trashing the president. For, That's the introducing facts failed. to the voters. First of all, the economy has not failed. We've had, you know, 30 months of. of we haven't had the economic. We're not living. We so we're a, living up to our economic potential right now. No. No, of course there's more to do, but Republic, we're so far ahead of where the Republicans took us that to, <clears throat> to even go back would be crazy. We'll see at the ballot in November. Yeah. We'll come back here we'll afterwards see. and we'll talk about it. Okay. And we'll see how many voters think it's because of, of those policy, issues versus yeah. the president.